your slaves, letting everybody push you around. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? Afternoon, YouTube. It is just, uh, my gosh, I just want to say December. It is September 19, 2012. Uh, it's been a little while since I made a YouTube video. Give a shout out to the people up there uh, around Mount Vernon, Ohio. Some new listeners. Uh, I've been told I'm a little bit vague when uh, sometimes when I do these YouTube videos, and I just want to go into a little bit of detail on some things. Uh, things are really heating up, and I'm sure you've seen it in the news. Now, back in July, I made a video, and I said, I expect things to uh, pretty much go downhill after July. Uh, I believe it was like after July 27th or 28th. There's a reason why I said that. First of all, three things that happened in July that most people didn't pay attention to or uh, didn't know about. The Bilderberg Group, they had a meeting in July. Uh, on the anyway, Bilderberg had a meeting and they usually set policies behind closed doors. Uh, they're pretty much uh, the elites of the world, uh, people from top corporations. Uh, they're also looking at uh, politicians from different countries and just, I mean, you're talking about the elite of the elite. Uh, there's also a meeting out at Bohemian Grove, which is always done every year the last two weeks of July. Um, they also uh, do some crazy little rituals and stuff. I'll, I'll make sure and link to uh, an article or something telling you a little bit about uh, Bohemian Grove. Uh, they also do the uh, cremation of care and uh, worship the, the like 40 foot owl and that's representing Moloch. Uh, if you could look that up. But also one other thing happened. Uh, George Soros. George Soros is a uh, billionaire and he had a meeting with his little billionaire club down in Miami uh, right around mid-July, uh, just before I had headed down that way. And anyone that knows about George Soros, this guy is probably one of the most evil guys in the world. Uh, he's just one of them now. Uh, but he did have a meeting down in Miami with all his little billionaire buddies, uh, communist buddies that is, uh, I will make sure and link to some information about George Soros so you can learn more about him and uh, what he has done in his life that many people would consider very evil. Um, he's also the same person who funds radical groups uh, such as Code Pink and, uh, oh my gosh, I, I think he funds like a thousand different groups. but. Those are the same people who was responsible for the uprising, the Arab Spring uprising over in uh, the Middle East, over in, well, first it was Libya, or no, it was Egypt. First it was Egypt. As soon as I seen that happen uh, and the way things were brought together, it was, it was all pre-planned. It wasn't just people going out onto the streets. So therefore they ended up overthrowing their leadership and of course now we have al-Qaeda in there now another thing is our government has been funding al-Qaeda but al-Qaeda is the terrorist yeah real strange but our government is no longer a government they've, they've been overthrown overtaken by the uh, big banksters um, another thing I want to go over is all the craziness that's going on over there You've seen this last week, all these embassies being uh, attacked by so-called protesters. You know, most of the time they have rocks. Where where they get uh, where they get these weapons at? Hmm. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? 
Um, that was pre-planned. And now, now things are uh, going crazy there, and things are heating up. Also, Iran, you know, they're they're only six months out from from a nuke. You know, a lot of people are saying, oh, you know, the U.S. just wants to attack Iran. Well, yeah, probably, of course, but at the same time, our president is playing golf somewhere and partying with uh, Jay Z and Beyonce or whoever. Netanyahu gets on gets on the and does a press conference talking about putting a red line. I mean that right there signals to you that they're probably going to have to end up acting on their own, which they probably will. And once that happens, all hell could break loose. Then we have China. This this adds uh, more to the mix. China says prepared uh, for war with Japan. Now isn't that kind of funny? We had the uprisings and the protests happening all over the Middle East and Africa and basically worldwide now. I mean, uh, yeah, our embassies being attacked left and right, you know. But now it's in China. Uh, it's kind of funny. It all of a sudden just happens in China now. How often does this happen? And China is saying prepare for war with Japan over territorial disputes like they've always argued back and forth but we've never really heard China say prepare for war. Uh, China rarely says much of anything. I'll make sure and link to that article as well. Uh, did you know that uh, protesters another daggone airplane Pro, uh, protesters over in, I, I think it was Beijing, let me see, yeah, it was over in Beijing, ended up uh, damaging a US, U.S. ambassador's car. So, now things are happening over in China. Uh, 30 countries just this week are perform, performing a mind-sweeping exercise in the Gulf. Uh, Iran just sent... Uh, I believe uh, a Russian sub that they had bought from Russia uh, to uh, the Gulf. So I mean, okay, am I crazy? You know, two years ago people told me I was nuts. Last year, if you look at my videos on my page, I was talking about expect uh, expect a major war here in the next year. Now, what am I expecting? I, you know what? Oh, let me get my crystal ball out. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but what I am expecting, I, I expect something major to happen between now and the elections. Um, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to put this stuff together. It's all right in front of us, guys. So, if you have not prepared, please make sure and prepare. Um, I wouldn't so much worry about, I wouldn't so much worry about the elections. Uh, I would pretty much at this point in time be more concerned about your families and your own well-being and your friends because this could get real ugly real fast and real soon. Uh, you know, if we break out to a major war, the U.S. dollar cr uh, crashes because, you know, we are $16 trillion in the hole. You all know this. Um, it's not about Mitt Romney anymore. It's not about Obama. This world has gone nuts. And we've seen, seen the buildup over the past year and a half, two years. And this does not surprise me a bit. Um, should be concerned about what's going on. I'm not fear-mongering. Just plant, uh, just telling you the plain facts. If you're not concerned and you're laughing about this, and you're telling people that they're nuts, who are trying to warn you about about what is coming, then I feel sorry for you. But anyway, I just uh, thought I'd break down all this info to you. Look below the video.
click show more read up on all this stuff if you want to go ahead and print it out show your friends and family see what they have to say about it I've been called uh, Chicken Little on Facebook now I've been called uh, crazy insane well I don't know what's more insane um, the things that's going on in this world or myself uh, <laughs> I'll continue buying food I'll continue uh, storing it up as, as much as I can I will continue to buy ammo because there are going to be bad guys during a collapse you're going to see groups of these bad guys you know because they were too lazy and they were the ones who was calling you a kook uh, they were too lazy and calling you a kook to to prepare for it it's probably uh, sitting around drinking a beer watching their football games nothing's wrong with that at all it's just uh, when you make it your life and you don't try to prepare for things in the future you know that's what you got so that is the reason why I tell people to have ammo and guns water food I've said it over and over you know and everyone <laughs> automatically everyone thinks uh, I don't know how this happened but there's a video I done last year uh, get prepared or whatever all of a sudden it, it became some kind of racial thing and I was like what the heck happened here you know it has nothing to do with race guys uh, you know whether you're you're uh, Asian descent white black I, I don't care I'm just telling all of you guys to get prepared there's good people in this world and there's bad and that's all there is to it anyway take care guys have a good one